Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Okay, what we're doing today is we've got our frame here. And what we're going to do is show you how you can save money on a lot of foundation and wax by putting on your own starter strips. But how we're going to do it today, instead of putting the strip across, usually you'll take like a, I usually take, and it, you can go see in another video uh, that I have, I'll lay this down on the foundation and take a pizza cutter and use this as a straight edge and cut a piece about that wide. And then you take that piece and you stick it up in here like so. And then you wedge your your wedge piece up against the wax. Now, now that's how we normally do when you use the the foundation strip. So what we're going to do today instead of putting the foundation strip we're just going to paint, paint our tab that we break off. Now, here's here's one that's not been broke off yet on this one. And you just simply just snap it off here, and I'll show you in a second. But let's go ahead and get our wax. Here's we got our, our pieces of wax that we're going to melt. Or you don't want to... Uh, now, you can double boil this if you want, but this works just fine as well. Drop in your, your pieces of wax. The wax will float on top of the water. So when you stick your brush in there to paint it, paint on your strip, it'll be on the very top and the water's on the bottom. That way it doesn't overheat the wax and it works out best because you don't want to put the wax straight into the kettle uh, and let it be up against the heat. You don't want to do that. It'll make it too hot and it can, it can actually deteriorate the wax. So you don't want that. So... Let's go ahead and get this melted. Okay. What we want to do, we've got the wax melting there. It's just about finished. But first, if here's your pleat you want to break off. This is what you're going to coat your wax with. So it's it's simply just, as you've seen these before, I'm sure most of you have, it just it snaps off like so. And then what what I'm going to do is we'll coat this in wax but what i like to do is you get your paintbrush and and dip it in your wax like so let's make sure this is on where we can see it on the camera here Dip this in your wax like so, and then be careful, I don't get it on the stove, get in big trouble. And then you're just going to paint this. This is just an old foam brush, but you can use whatever brush you want. A roller would work good, and you just want to put a, just a coating. A good coating of wax on the whole thing. And what this does, this will act as a starting point for the bees to start on. It's very simple. And, I mean, you could even, if you don't have bars of wax that you've melted down, you can actually take foundation and melt it down, and it's, a, it's the same thing. Well, it's, uh, I mean, your natural wax, of course, is always best. But... If you don't have any, you can get you a piece of foundation and melt it down. It's as simple as that. It dries really fast. See, I'm already grabbing this end of it. It's already dry. Wouldn't recommend doing this on your wife's stove. Maybe she won't watch the video. But that's basically it. See, it's got a little coat of wax on it, and that's all it needs. Actually, you could put it on there probably without wax, and it'd be fine. But this this encourages the bees because the wax will attract them, and it'll give them a starting point to go with. So then, what you do now, where you, you pull this piece off here like this, right? See that? How that was? That's how it was on there. 
So what you do when you put it back, you point it straight down just like so. And then all you're going to do now is just put a couple of staples in. About three staples, three or four staples across there. And I'll go ahead and staple it. up on it. That easy. There you go. There's your starter strip. Now, you could go through that a lot faster. I, I would just had a very small scale and I put a very thin layer of wax on there. But put you a good little thick layer of wax because once this is hardens up, you can reuse it. So you can't waste it. So once this hardens back up and dries, cools down, just pull that wax up or just leave it in there. Dump your water out so you don't spill it and leave it in there, put it up somewhere. But that's it. That'll save you a lot of money. What, what'll happen is those bees, they will start on this and they will draw down. And to me, now this is just my opinion. Some people disagree and I, I know, know people comment and that's fine. But I don't see a whole lot of difference when you put a full sheet of foundation and then where you put a starter strip. Those bees, this way, it gives them the ability. When you have a full sheet of foundation, you got bees on this side and you got bees on this side. When you have a, a starter strip, those bees can work like this, back and forth on both sides, both, both sets of bees. All the bees can work back and forth, back and forth, and it's more natural. That's how they do it in the wild. That's how they build up in the wild. So it's really common sense that they would draw that out better. And uh, in my opinion, I'm just uh, this is just from my experience. Now, where do you use frames like this from uh, starter strips? Now, this is perfect for uh, cut comb. Now, this, this actually has string in it. This is like, uh, you can use up to like 20 pound test. I prefer around 8 to 10 I believe this is 20, but it'll work. Uh, some people use wire. Uh, we use fishing line and just braid it around tight. I mean, it's just simple. You go through your uh, go through your holes right here. You got two holes. You you draw draw it through, staple it. You can see where. Uh, well, actually, this one's tied on here, but you can actually staple it here. Pull your line through. That's another video. We'll talk about that later on, but. If you want to use it for cut comb, you wouldn't put your string on it. You would just put your strip on and let those bees draw that out. They'll fill that up with, with honey. Now, you can also use this in the brew chamber in your deep frames. Uh, and, and then if you want, if, if you think you may draw, if you may extract some of it, use your fishing line. You just got to take your time. It's, it's won't be as strong as a full sheet of foundation that has wire in it. I mean, that's uh, common sense will tell you that it's not going to have that much strength. So when you put it in the extractor, you got to take your time with it and go slow. Uh, but I would recommend at least have fishing line in it if you plan on using it for extracting. But in the brew chamber, you usually don't touch any of that anyway, unless you do get too much honey. And which happens... And so, you, if, unless you plan on making cut comb, you're probably better off to go ahead and put your fishing line in there. So, so that's the video tip for today, is how to save you money on wax. And in my opinion, they draw it out better, and it's more natural. So, there's your end product right there. Very simple to do. Uh, look out for us for new and upcoming videos. We've been a little bit slow this year. Uh, weather's not been good. Rainy, cold, uh, bees just not moving much, uh, but we're going to get back on the ball making good videos for everybody. So, so please folks, please help share our videos. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.